Jag tror att den här ska vara enough. Mm. Men vi får se. Ska vi montera den lite högre då? Ja. Kanske i samma höjd. Ja, vi får se hur långt eh, upp jag når. Ja. Eh, och då... Nej, eh, det var Salina också. Jag tror inte vi använder dem där. Eh, the distance... Eh, 3,000 meters. Ja, yeah. mm. around 3-4 kilometers between... Yeah, these two points. Yeah. So this is what we're gonna test today. Uh, but now, yeah, let's maybe install the gateway. Mm -hmm. What we're doing now is that we just installed the gateway. Uh, now the next step is, and we also confirmed that it's working, it's up and running and, and uh, so on. So what we're gonna do now is that we have a couple of, uh, or a number of devices here in front of us. We have, all of them are uh, so-called mappers. So what they do is, all of these have GPS. And then um, what we do is that they join the network and then they uh, try to communicate with the satellites and then uh, once uh, once there are satellites uh, at that place, we send a so-called uplink, LoRa1 uplink, which is basically as any other message uh, that we send from, if it's a temperature and humidity sensor, like whatever m value we measure and send over LoRa1, this is the same thing, but it's GPS uh, coordinates. So you have the longitude, you have the latitude, and then you have the altitude, and also the number of satellites and the some of them this, for example, also have the ambient temperature, so you can you also have that uh, the the temperature in that area. Um, can you also elaborate between these two and those two, which like <coughs> we said? Right. Yeah. So the, the, this one is like an on the shelf uh, on the shelf Industry. device. You, yeah, it's you you buy this and it has one button. It has one mission. It just maps. Uh, this on the other hand, this is newer. It has a fancier display. You can see the number of gateways that you're connected to. You also see your coordinates and then uh, you see the signal strength and you get like really cool graphs of the uh, signal strength indicator. So um, uh, where uh, there is signal, where is not, and where is good signal and where is bad signal. Uh, that you can see. This one sends periodically. This uh, sense every time you click uh, click on it and then we have this is probably my favorite these are uh, Heltec cube cells uh, so these are just ESP32 uh, based uh, with the GPS built in mm. and we use those for the same purpose and we can see probably uh, you won't be able to see it but in the top right corner we see the number of uh, satellites that we uh, uh, have in sight and then we also can see how long it took us to join the network. So in this case, it was 20 seconds. Uh, mm -hmm. We're pretty close to the gateway. And um, and then what we could do is, th this is also, this does send periodically, I think once every five minutes, but you can also trigger an uplink. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and yeah, the case is 3D printed and inside it's just, um, yeah, we can probably. It's the same as Joey can... used, right? Exactly, for the yeah. Workshop, yeah. This is actually one of those he brought, so. Can see and you can see the antenna so cool. pretty neat mm -hmm. uh, so this is what we're gonna do um, we installed the gateway here where the blue dot is and then we're gonna go to these points and test the coverage mm -hmm. and we also have if you go to um, cargo.helium.com or um, mappers. mappers or mapper.helium.com you'll see these green hexagons and these indicate that there have been coverage there. There may be coverage there, but it's also historical, so you can see if there has been coverage there and when the uh, hexagon was last updated. In Hassele, here at Hassele, it's completely empty, so you're probably gonna see hexagons pop up. So green hexagons pop up, because this, we're doing this for the first time. Mm. Um, so yeah, this is the most exciting part. <laughs> Cool. So the installation was exciting, maybe mostly for you, Elena. <laughs> uh, but this this is kind of the uh, the receipt of how things actually work, Turned like out. the power of the antenna, how like how much we can cover with such an antenna mm -hmm. and w with such altitude. Yeah. Uh -huh. So yeah. <laughs> The goal 
goal is that as soon as I activate this, uh, this sensor, we see some uplinks uh, on the console. So I'm gonna short this pin here. And now we see this blink. And then here soon, we should see like uplink messages. So this is happens initially. And here we can see what actually matters if we filter all the traffic and see what uh, what uh, essentially matters is that we join and then an uplink is being sent from the sensor. And if we click on the uplink, we can see some meta metadata. Uh, so we see from like to which application it's going to. We can see the uh, raw payload. So here we see the payload, the actual message of the sensor in base 64 format. And then we have something called Rx info. This is basically which gateways pick picked up this packet. Mm. How many gateways picked up this packet and forwarded it to the uh, Helium network? In this case, we can see it's a uh, a gateway called the uh, Scrawny Seafoam Links. <laughs> that, that is they have these three word uh, names. Um, and we can see the gateway ID and also uh, information such as the uh, signal strength indicator or uh, received signal strength indicator, I mean, uh, and so on. At the moment, it's only one gateway that picks this up, and it's because we only have one gateway um, here, like in the whole area. Uh, but we're happy that yeah, yeah, something is picking this yeah. up. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna screw this back together, and we're gonna. This is ready for installation. All right, here we are <laughs> on this uh, wonderful vehicle. Uh, we're gonna go to other remote parts of the island and see if we can get. Uh, All right, look at that. We are now <laughs> uh, again in the harbor. Uh, and uh, here we see two dots. One dot up there where the... Yeah. Uh, that, that is the uh, gateway, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. And now if we zoom in, we are three dots here mm -hmm. and these are our devices. Yes. That show that we have coverage here <laughs> and we'll yeah. leave, we'll leave it here it's perfect uh, this one also sending and, and this, this one is camera. like manual so when we press the button mm -hmm. it just sends so we have three devices and right now we have three dots here so uh, keep picking our so this is very promising for our um yeah, yeah, so it could show like all the way we press the button. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, right. th this is the one that we press the button on the way. Mm -hmm. So these blue dots, so it's mapped that awesome. all the way down here. And it sends something. All right, so we got the signal in a few places anyway now. All right, now we are back uh, in the <laughs> harbor. <laughs> Unfortunately, things didn't uh, go as planned. Uh, we were driving along with these um, uh, devices a little bit further away from the antenna and uh, around one and a half kilometers away, it dropped the connection. Uh, so it's either the gateway or the antenna needs to be placed uh, higher up. Uh, so we'll uh, investigate this issue until the next uh, time. Uh, now we will uh, anyway install the uh, uh, water temperature sensor. <laughs> uh, but uh, probably uh, somewhere inside just to see that uh, the connection is uh, working. This is how it is with the IoT projects. <laughs> uh, it never works as it should from the first try, almost never. So don't be discouraged if that's the case in your, <laughs> in your projects as well. See you soon.